Okay, this is hand colouring. What we're doing, we've got our picture on screen, we've got one layer showing called background. First thing we're going to do is duplicate the layer. Now the simplest way to do that is to have that layer highlighted and just hit Command J or Control J on a PC. That gives us layer one. Second thing, first well, first bit of advice I offer you is with hand colouring we're going to have multiple layers doing different things. It pays simply to name each layer what you're doing. So we're going to be doing the skin so I'll just call it skin. This picture, if we now go up to image adjustments and we want to use hue saturation. Click on that, little box opens up, here we are, and I bring this over here, colorize. As soon as I hit that, it changes color to wherever it's sitting in the hue slider. Hue is color. So I'm going to move this to get a color that looks a bit like skin to me. Maybe bold it up a bit to make it look like skin. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So I, go, I accept that. I'll just click OK. We've now coloured the entire layer. So what we need to do is apply a mask. In a mask, white reveals, black conceals. The mask is this little Japanese flag down the bottom of the tools. I'll click on that and you'll see we've now got a white box sitting next to the thumbnail of our picture. That white box is the mask, but we want it to be black. Simplest way to do that, Command I, invert it, Control I on a PC. So, what we're now going to do, the black has hidden all the colouring and we're only going to see the colouring where we paint it back in with white. I've got my paintbrush from my toolbox, I've got white as my foreground colour. If you've got black as your foreground, just hit that bend the arrow up the top or X on your keyboard will toggle your colours. That's the simple way. Bring your brush out. Up here in your, your brush features, click on the little box that shows the size and the hardness and ha make sure you've got hardness at about 50%. Not too soft, not too hard. Make your brush an appropriate size to be able to work fast and just start painting. Now, to make your brush bigger or smaller, uh, the simplest way of doing that is just go to the square bracket keys to the right of P on your keyboard. I'm just quickly painting around her face. I am going over some areas where I shouldn't be, like into her eyes a little bit, and I'll show you how to fix that shortly. Um, down we go. Paint, 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 paint. All I'm doing is holding down the left mouse button and just painting. If you've got a tablet and a pen, uh, life is much simpler. It most certainly is. In fact, to be honest, I'm using a tablet right now, but you'll be using a mouse. So paint up there. If I go over into areas I shouldn't, doesn't matter. I'll fix it later. I'll fix it. Well, I'll fix it in about 10 seconds' time. But I'm just quickly painting all the skin that I can see. So okay, bang, 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 done. Now I want to fix up the areas where I've gone over places I shouldn't have. So I'll zoom in, Command Plus or Control Plus on a PC. I'll change my brush color to black make my brush a bit smaller by using the left square bracket key and paint black back in. Where I'm painting black, black conceals. So here, I don't want the ring to be the same colour as her skin. We're going to give that a nice gold colour in just a tick. So, what have we got up here? Oop, gone too far. Select white and paint the skin back in again. Sometimes your X key may not work. Computers love to play games with us and things that should always work sometimes don't work. Oh, come here you. Okay, so I'm just quickly zooming around cleaning up all the areas where I did paint the skin colour over areas that shouldn't have had it. So I'm just cleaning those up as we go. Move down to here hilt of the sword needs to be a different colour, that ring needs to be a different colour, so we'll do that. Down here, hilt of the sword, and that's looking pretty good. I reckon we might live with that for now. So okay, we've done our first colouring. Get all the picture back on screen by just Command Zero. And now we want to make another layer to colour something else. So click back on your original layer, Command J. I've now got another copy. I'm going to do the rings. So we'll just call it rings. Done. Again, up T, 
to image adjustments hue saturation again colorize pick a nice yellow for the rings that looks pretty cool okay done again apply a mask by hitting the Japanese flag down here command I to invert it to make it black and then just simply whoop, change that to white paint in the rings and that one there which is obviously a rich assassin so there we are okay let's say do the eyes so okay back on the original command J to copy it double click eyes Okay, so back again. Uh, we'll now do the hilt. No, sorry, we'll do the eyes or the Ys, whatever I've called it there, goodness knows. <laughs> Image adjustments, hue saturation. I reckon Assassin should have emerald green eyes. And that'll look pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. Okay, again, everything's green that hasn't been painted with another colour already. So, again, the mask. Again, Command I. Once I find it, there it is. And again with a white paintbrush, just paint in the irises, the killer assassin's eyes. Okay, final thing we're going to do is just the hilt of the sword, and then we'll say it's finished for this exercise. So again, back to your original, Command J to copy it, and we'll just call this one sword. Bang, job's done. Okay, image adjustments, hue, saturation, let's just find, again, colorize, just find a color that looks a bit swordy. That sort of works. Okay, again, the Japanese flag, put a mask on, again, command I to hide it all. White as your paintbrush color. Get the paintbrush a bit bigger so we can do it quickly. Step up here, and just come around here. Remember, um, you can always just change the colour and paint back over an area where you shouldn't have gone. It's no drama whatsoever. Piece of cake. So let me just do that. Let's zoom in a bit closer. And then I'll just do the other end of the, the sword. And we'll call it a day for this exercise. And I'll just run through quickly what we've done again. Okay, there we go. I reckon that's about it. So, take her out to full size. If she lets me. My keyboard's being a bit wayward at the moment. Okay, there we are. There's the assassin.